Hi guys, I'm coming to you from 4K in Whispering Ridge School, and uh, we're gonna review daily homework page number 111. So, we'll start off by putting our name, today's date, which is April 6th, and sign it with our best cursive writing. Okay, so our first question says 1,255 plus 1,844. We talk about lots of different ways to do this. I'm going to show you it using expanded forms. So 1,000, 200, I'll just make that a comma instead, 200, 50, and 5. We're going to add 1,800, 40, and 4. By the way, before I even uh, start uh, doing any more of the adding, I should do some kind of estimate so that I know about what my answer should be. So if I look right here, I've got 1,000 and 1,000, that's 2,000, and 200 and 800, that's gonna be 1,000 more. So I know my answer is gonna be somewhere around 3,000. So let's do the work now. So I'm gonna start over here at the ones place. I've got five plus four is nine. I have 50 plus 40, that's 90. Uh, 200 plus 800, that's 1,000 but I'm just gonna actually put a zero here. I'm gonna carry that thousand over to here because that's really where I want it. And then 1,000 plus 1,000 plus 1,000 is 3,000. So we have 3,099, so our answer is 3,099. That zero in the, um, uh, in the hundreds place is really important to have on there. All right, now we have 44 divided by four. You might remember we've been looking at ones like this and if you remember the 11s, right? When we were doing our 11s, we know that 11s is 11, 22, 33, 44. Oh, look at that. If I know four times 11 is 44, then I know 44 divided by four is 11. Uh, our next question here, we were looking at uh, 33, 66, 99, blank, blank, blank. What's the pattern, okay? Well, if I look at this, I say 33 plus 33 makes 66. 66 plus another 33 will get me to 99. So what I'm doing is I'm adding 33 each time. It actually is a lot harder than it looks when you get past these first three because it's like, what's going on next here, right? We are adding 33. So if I look at 99 and I add 33, I have, well, nine and three is 12. So I'm gonna put two here and carry the one. One and nine is 10, 10 plus three, that gives me 132. By the way, if I had thought 100 plus 33 is 133, so 99 plus 33 is 132, that might've been an easier way than even doing the stacking. This is probably could have been mental math. Um, we're gonna add another 33 onto here. So if I look at 132 plus 30 would be 162, plus another three would be 165. And we're gonna add 33 one more time. Uh, 165 plus 30 would be 195, and another three would give me 198. So our missing numbers are 132, 165, and 198. Number four, we're using uh, these comparison uh, symbols. So it says eight divided by two, is that greater than, less than, or equal to nine divided by three? Well, eight divided by two is four, and nine divided by three is three, so four is larger, so we kind of draw it so that the alligator is eating the eight divided by two. In math terms, we would say eight divided by two is greater than nine divided by three. Our last question is this, z times three is equal to 24 minus six. The, the first step of doing this is getting this 24 minus six taken care of. So 24, if we take away six, we'll be left with 18. Now we need to figure out what times three equals 18. Well, if I look at my uh, uh, multiples of three, they go three, then six, then nine, then 12, then 15, then 18. Oh, it takes six steps to get to uh, 18. Uh, so six times three is 18. So our Z would have to be six. Okay, don't forget to do your Lexia practice. I'm just gonna scroll down so you can see that. And your reading practice can come from Lexia if you want, or you can read something else. Just make sure you tell me what you read, for how long, 
and what you learned. And like I say, underneath it, it says this can be, can include reading you did on Lexia. Okay. All right, guys. Thanks. Have a good rest of your day.